Hi guys, I'm Stuck and today we are looking at the upper course of the river and particularly V-shaped valleys. So in the upper course of the river, um, what happens is there is vertical erosion instead of lateral erosion which you may find in the middle course causing um, landforms such as meanders. So what happens for V-shaped valleys to be formed is the river erodes downwards as boulders, stones and rocks particles are bounced and scraped along the channel bed. So then what happens is weathering comes across and as the river cuts down the steep sides are attacked by weathering. This breaks up and loosens the soil and rock. Then the loosened material slowly creeps down the slope because of gravity or is washed into the, rain, uh, into the river by rainwater. So this then means that the end result is a shape of a V, right? and that is the V-shaped valley that you look at. Now an interlocking spur is a, a very um, common feature you find in the upper course, and as the river erodes downwards vertically as we know, it erodes, um, it, it loosens the soil and the rock through weathering. Uh, then the loose soil and rock, the weathered material, slips down under gravity. Uh, the weathered material is then transported away by the flow of the river. Um, eventually a steep-sided V-shaped valley is formed, which I've just explained. Now then, as the river flows through the valley, it is forced to swing from side to side around more resistant rock outcrops, and these are called spurs. Now as there is little energy for lateral erosion, the river continues to cut down vertically, flowing between spurs of higher land creating interlocking spurs. And that's a common feature that you would call the whole of the um, upper course of the valley. Thanks for watching and uh, tune out, we may have other videos on the middle course or the lower course for example. So keep on, sub subscribe to the channel, what, go to my website, the link's below. Thanks for watching and see you soon, bye.